Rocky. enjoyed the last episode fitting the apex performance wheel safe to say i think they look pretty sick it's 6 30 in the morning and i'm actually en route to see mr dave at smv repairs i've got all the ct carbon aero goodies for the fat in the back and dave's very kindly going to give me a hand today and get everything fitted onto the car Okay, here we are, very famous place, Mr. Dave's SMV. One, two, three, fuck you. Davey. Good morning. Everyone's been saying, where's Dave on the channel, man? Oh, yes. BT Carbon. Modeled by the beautiful David. <laughs> you want to check them out? They got loads of stuff for Lambos, Mercs, BMWs, the whole shebang. Oh, I've got got an X5M, guys. If you're interested, <laughs> tell me what you got. Front splitter, looking absolutely beautiful. So that's the front piece that sits under the front of the bumper. The other thing I discovered as well: ski hatch. I mean, I haven't actually got any skis. I'm, I'm always tempted to buy skis. Didn't just even do this. Know what? Yeah. Dave's just unpacked the little carbon blades. We're not 100% if we're going to fit these yet. Once all the front's on, we'll have a little gander. Yeah, well, they're. See what we say. They're only bonded on anyway, there's no fixings. Over here, we've got the carbon fibre side skirts. Looking absolutely lovely. Dave's also got a new product which is going to be releasing. Yes, they are uh, part of a fiberglass parts range that we're working on with Matty, but this is the SMV uh, E46 fiberglass track doors. Pepsi. They are three kilos. That is very, very light. Yeah, as opposed to 45 kilos. Crazy, what a difference. Can I pick one up? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that, you could literally throw it. I guess you need a cage. Yeah, you wouldn't run those without a, without a crossbar cage. Bars, yeah, because yeah, obviously it's, you know, if you get hit in the side and you haven't got a cage with that, so <laughs> you might as well be holding up a piece of tissue or something. Crazy you? weight difference though, amazing for the like, power to weight, it's going to be extreme. Yeah, we've just got the, the final fitment testing to do on them and tweaks before the uh, final mould's done, so uh, hopefully they'll be out there and ready soon. Yeah, sick track action coming up, man. Yeah. Happy yeah. days, if the track's open. You guys now the car is all up in the air on axle stands, nice and safe. First canard is now in place, that gives you guys a little idea on the fitment. And the lads were just remarking as well that the CT carbon stuff is really nice fitting, you haven't got to do a lot of trimming or, or messing about when you get it on. Next up you guys can see we're just using a heat gun just to heat up the old spoiler, try and soften up the adhesive and then once that's nice and soft we can remove her and start fitting the, the new number. Dave's definitely been to the gym this morning. Oh, it's more the uh, <laughs> endurance on my fingers. Ah. There we go, right. One rear stock spoiler removed. Obviously just a little bit of residue left. The guys will go over in a second, just clean that all up. <laughs> we come around the front to see how we fit the uh, front canards. Just a little bit of double-sided uh, tape that's supplied with the kit. Nice and easy. Right, that's the front canard installed. Step back so you guys can have a little look. Obviously we haven't got the front splitter at the moment, but that should give you 
an idea on what she looks like. Da -da. Da -da. Very, very good. Yeah, so that right. is the rear boot spoiler all removed. professionally removed with not a single trace of glue. What we do now is without the glue in place or any sticky or anything, we put it on, we make sure we've got it even so we're happy with it. We then mark it with the tape so the next time you put it on with the adhesive, you. you're not trying to find the alignment of it. Do you know what I mean? You just know, oh, this is my line, that's your line. Yeah. Two of you put it on together and then that sort of eliminates the old uh, mess. I'm going to have to admit to you guys in the audience as well, I have been a massive muppet today. What have I done, Dave? Oh, the diffuser. Yeah, oh, yeah. just the diffuser. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's a small... Yeah, don't tell them not my personal stories, bro. <laughs> Compared to forgetting your passport the way to Amsterdam, <laughs> minor. As you probably noticed, we are actually missing the rear diffuser. Not because CT Carbon didn't send it to me, they did send it, but Monkey is a Muppet and he hasn't actually brought it with him. Um, Dave has assured me though it's only literally six bolts to put it on, so when I get back to Scousers we can kind of fit it ourselves. It has got double-sided tape on it already, but this is windscreen adhesive that actually holds the glass in your car, so we're just going to chuck a couple of dots in between the double-sided, so the double-sided will hold it initially, but the windscreen bond will provide uh, proper grip, cool. like what your nan has for her dentures. <laughs> and hopefully when John's doing 200, yeah. it doesn't uh, fly off. And on his private road. He did actually have a problem with that once, an old SL55 with a front splitter at 180 decided to evacuate, which was interesting when it went under the wheels. Well, <laughs> I lost a spoiler at Spa. Well, that's, ex that's, ex <laughs> that's acceptable. Sure. There you go, if you guys look there, Dave's now applied a little bit of bond, obviously not too much, because he just wants to give it a nice little seal. A little bit of heat as well? Yeah, heat in the double-sided, so the glue is soft, so that when it gets to the summer, the double-sided doesn't heat up and become unstuck. Got you, man. You two have got to be the best in the business at doing this, I swear down. Spoiler is now fitted. Dave's just going to run a little bit more heat through it just to make sure the glue is properly nice and soft. Okie dokie. Rear spoiler now fitted, looking absolutely beautiful. <laughs> We have installed the canards first, held on with a double-sided tape. Not really any need for bond on those because they're always having air towards them. It's not going to blow them off forwards. Yep. Plus they are uh, held partially in place by the uh, by the front splitter, which we're now going to get to a place that we're happy with alignment-wise, drill some holes in, and we're going to add uh, some stainless steel fixings with lock nuts to make sure uh, it stays tight. Yeah, the bits that you don't snap off stay in place. Happy days. Size of the drill bit? Massive. Not only do SMV do exceptional bodywork, you also get a lovely slap up breakfast meal as well. Happy days. Fucking nom nom. While Bert is just carrying on with the front splitter, Dave and I are going to start tackling the side skirts. Yeah, so we've offered the side skirts up and they're not a bad fit. But I feel that if they had two to three mil removed off the back, they'd just align ever so slightly nicer with the swage of the car. So we're going to modify these a little bit just to ever so slightly tweak the fitment. A few moments later. Side skirt is now stuck in place. I believe you're going to be doing the rivets next. Yeah, just double sided that on now just to hold it in place. I'm going to work from the middle outwards doing the rivets to make sure it stays nice even all the way along yeah drilled the first hole through fairly central and then i'm just going to pop this spider rivet through there there we go and then with that little cool. wash around it they just look really tidy we're just going to show you guys how a spider rivet actually works pretty cool spread the load so you don't pull it straight through yeah that's it. it yeah. absolutely nicely done make sure it's all spread properly and it's nice and nice and flush so if I come back here you guys can get a sort of better perspective of what the side skirt looks like it's quite a subtle accent but I do think just that little extra lip just makes the car look that little bit more aggressive oh, look at this <laughs> mate M156 is such a sick motor this looks savage man yeah, right. gonna get a little uh, get some Tiny bit of John action. If 
funny enough, we've got a W205 here. So yeah, that was a W204 that just left. And this is the newer shape W205. Let us know in the comment section which do you prefer, 204 or 205. Dave's now cleaned up the other side in preparation for the side skirt, got it all nice and clean. And then over here is just applying the last bits of sticky tape and then we can stick the uh, other side skirt on. Second side skirt is now fitted, lovely and straight. Top, top job. We come around the front, I think Dave's trying to repair my bird damage. He's broken the bumper, it has. Yeah, it was a big bird, man. Literally took me 10 minutes to get it out, oh, that thing. That yellow thing, I've said to me. It was literally not a big bird, I'm not even joking. CT Carbon will be supplying me some new front grills and some carbon mirror covers as well. In the meantime, Dave's gonna do a quick little repair route just to make it look a bit more OEM. You don't even need a new grill, we fixed it. <laughs> look at that, man. The magic of SMV continues. <laughs> look at that, brand That's new. Good. A few guys looked down here as well. Bert's just done a lovely little line of polyurethane um, sealant just to kind of fill in that tiny little gap so you can't see the blue. I'll quickly show you the other canards. That's all been silicon sealant as well. Looking super, super neat. Oh, look at that. How much better does that look, man? Jesus, what a, what a fucking difference. So that's an idea on the front splitter with the canards. Side skirts down the side, which just gives it that little bit of extra extra lip on the back we are missing the bottom piece don't shoot me and then once we've got that little carbon bit down the bottom that'll really just complete the look and uh, yeah it should look pretty pretty sick on the whole though i'm going to give that a firm 20 out of 10. let us know what you think in the comment section fist bump mr burt pleasure out of 10. about 20. perfect me or the car <laughs> Safe to say, Dave has absolutely smashed it. I'm gonna chuck Mr. SMV's Instagram down here and his website as well if you guys wanna get some amazing bodywork done, give him a shout. I'm also gonna chuck CT Carbon's Instagram down here as well and their website if you wanna check out some of the beautiful carbon goodness they've got in stock, feel free. See you later, Bert. Bye. Love you guys, man. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this cheeky little video. Massive props to these guys and yeah, look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> Eddie'sGarage.com. Do a buy. There we go. Ugh. Fair play, right? So this right. is it. We're Get this piece off. out. Give her a little wangle. There you go. There she goes. One OEM trim.com. Safe to say, one carbon fibre splitter. Looking nice and subtle. Definitely completing the back.